This is Lara. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing the February wrap up. Let's start at the beginning. Okay, so I <laughs> I tried to do my February wrap up on my camera that I just got and first off it's ridiculously grainy the camera also the sound is really bad it means that it's going to be a lot more informal because i already recorded this whole video i already recorded this whole video and it did not work so i have to do it again but since i've already talked about all these books i don't know what i said last time and also this comes out tomorrow so i need to get it done so the very first thing I'm going to do is chew on my ring light. That's number one. Okay, so that works better. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this pretty short and sweet because as I said, I've already done this once and I don't feel like doing it again. But I feel like I have to because the quality is just not good. It's not there. So I'm gonna do this again. I am going to end up just putting all of the books on the screen also. I'm so cool. I'm just gonna put all the books on the screen as opposed to finding them again because I don't have a lot of the copies. And about, I would say 75% of the books that I read this month were ebooks anyways. So I'm gonna have to do that for the other ones. So I'm just gonna do that for all of them and make it easier on everybody involved. Mostly me though, since it's not really easier for y'all, but it's easier for me, so I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna start out with the numbers. This is my book bullet journal. I don't have anything on the front. I need to get like stickers or something. I just haven't done it yet. I do all of my reviews and stuff in here. For the month of February, I read 24 books. Of of those 24 books, all of them were new. I didn't read I didn't reread any books this month. I read 8,588 pages, which is more than the number of pages I read in January, but I've read the, I read the same number of books both months. I owned 22 of them, I borrowed two, 22 of those books were written by women, two were written by men, 17 of those books were, were written by white authors, and seven were written by authors of color. This is the statistics page for the specific month of February. So these are all of the books I read. Obviously I thought I was going to read more slash take up more room, and I did not, but that's fine. I read 24 books and the average star rating was 3.72. That does not include the biography because I don't read biographies. This is my little library log. I gave out a lot of books this month to get people to read them because they were wonderful. Okay, the first book I read this month was The Dating Plan by Sarah Desse. So the, the Dating Plan is part of a three book series. It has The Dating Plan, The Marriage Game, and another one. I'm pretty sure I've read the, the one that I don't remember the name of, but I read The Dating Plan. I really liked it. I gave it four and a half stars. I really liked the fiance by convenience thing i really enjoyed i really enjoyed that trope i tried to start reading the marriage game but someone else was reading it at the same time on our kindle so i did not I kept switching back to their pages and i was just confusing so i'm waiting for that person to be finished with the marriage game and then i'm going to read the rest of the books in the series because i loved it i thought it was written really well i thought it was really interesting i thought the people were well thought out. I just, I really liked it all in all. Next I read Yellow Wife by Sadiqa Johnson. I gave that five stars. There's a full video of me reading the book for the Once Upon a Book Club and I also described the book in the Black Author highlight. So if you want more information about that book, you can find those two videos. I'm going to link them below as well, since I have a lot of books on here that I've already talked about in the Black Authors highlight. But that book was five stars. Next we have The C Word by Mindy Klaske. I don't know if that's how you say her last name. That was my first arc of the month. I gave that three and a half stars. I thought it was interesting. Um, it was about love in the time of COVID, which I had read a book like that in January and it was a young adult book and this one is an adult book. I liked it. I just thought it like ended really abruptly. In one of the vlogs that I'm going to be posting, I think on Sunday, I go on this big long tangent about how in every romance novel there's like the moment that it switches over and it's romance novels, it's romance, like romantic comedy movies, it's 
like all like romance movies as a genre usually have everything's going okay everything's going okay and then about 65 70 percent of the way through something goes wrong and then they recover and they get back together in like the last 95 percent of it or whatever so that's the trope i'm good with it i love it i read romance novels specifically because i know that it's going to end like that i i'm aware that it's going to happen i like it i'm good with it but this it was so weird because some books like that introduce something completely crazy and then expect everybody to just forgive it and i'm like oh okay and then they kind of rush through the end like once they get over their big issue they just rush through the end which is is not what I would go with so this just felt really rushed at the end like the girl was over all of her issues the guy resolved everything with his family everybody was good so I gave it three and a half stars just because it was a little too convenient it wrapped it up too nicely for me so that's the C word by Mindy Kaliski next we have such a fun age by kylie reed i actually have this book it's right here <laughs> such a fun age by kylie reed this one's so close so i'm gonna grab this one <laughs> not the other ones are on the other side but such a fun age by kylie reed i gave this four stars i got this because tiktok told me that i would love it and i liked it i just i feel like it ended when it when i was excited about it like i was like oh it's getting good i'm ready to read the rest of it and then it was over and i kind of wanted to know how she how our main character moved on after all of this stuff happened to her because they just gave us like a couple of pages at the end and I get that not every book is going to give me the full life story of our main characters I was just a little disappointed that I felt it end kind of abruptly but I still gave it four stars it was still a really good read next we have Snakes and Lovers by Anne Lovett that's another arc that I read I gave it two and a half stars I really didn't like it and here's why here's my issue with the book I did not like our guy, the guy that I'm supposed to love and I'm supposed to ship with our character and I'm supposed to want them to be together forever. I didn't like him. I wasn't empathetic towards his causes. He just kind of made me mad and I didn't root for him. So I didn't want him to get with our girl because I didn't like him. So like that was kind of my issue with it. Just I didn't really enjoy reading about him because I didn't like him I thought he was rude and annoying and immature and and I didn't like the best friend either like there's there wasn't really a character that I was like I love this character I can't wait to read more about this character I guess except for the boy but even the little boy like the, she just left him like the best friend so I gave it two and a half stars I didn't love it it was written well um it was very like the characters were really diverse they talked touched on a little like separate cultures it was also like a casually racist so I couldn't I couldn't get behind giving it more than two and a half stars so I gave it two and a half stars okay next we have bringing down the Duke by Evie Dunmore this was a book of the month club book my mom actually gave this to me first I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog panting my mom my mom actually gave this to me first and then I gave it back to her once I finished reading it I liked it it was kind of slow for me personally. I don't know if it's because I really didn't like Pride and Prejudice, so I don't know if I just don't like historical romances. I didn't hate it. I gave it four stars. I just didn't love it either. So that was Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. Next, we have The Princess Chosen, which is actually the first book in the Fount series. So I'm just going to talk about all of the Fount series together. So it was an arc, and I got all three books in one document which is good because if I didn't I would have been mad because each book ends except the third one each book ends in a cliffhanger and I hate cliffhangers I will not read a book if the full series is not out I do not like ending things in cliffhangers I usually don't watch tv shows until everything's finished I, I do not like cliffhangers so I'm really glad I got all three books together in one I I'm not a fan of forced love triangles and the first book was all about forced love triangles. Though it was really well written, the world was really interesting. I kind of guessed most of the, not towards the end, but in the beginning I guessed most of the plot twists like in advance. One of the vlogs I have, I don't know if I've already posted it or not, I was reading the first book and it was like a read along, it wasn't an officially read along, but I was doing like a read along with the first book because I kept guessing what was going to happen. And I was right most of the time. So if you're a fan of like 
Hunger Games or like Divergent, like the young adult fantasy, I think you'd really like this series. It's the Fount series by Stephanie Fazio. Um, the first book is The Princess Chosen and then The Forsaken's Choice and then The Chosen Union. I had some qualms with the series, but overall I gave it four stars and I gave each actually each book four stars as well. Okay, next we have Wicked Chemistry. So this is by R.L. Kenderson, which I am really excited to see because I read a book by R.L. Kenderson later. I always try to read two books by an author if I don't like the first one because I want to know if it's near the author. I don't like to say I don't like something if I've only tried it once. So Wicked Chemistry was by R.L. Kenderson. I really liked the book I read later. I really did not like this book. And that's on me. This was an arc and I must have read the, the little bio and not realized that it was a student teacher romance and asked for it and it was a student teacher romance and I hate student teacher romances. I can't kick behind them. I think they're disgusting. I think they're overly romanticized in the media. I don't like them. I think they're gross. I don't like it. And unfortunately this was a student teacher romance. The writing was really good. I even say here like I the writing was fine and the characters were okay but it's a student teacher romance so I can't give it more than two stars because I find it super gross and I don't want to perpetuate that over romanticization of student teacher romances. So that was Wicked Chemistry by Arl Kenderson. Next I have Played by the Rockstar by Christina Hovland. This was another arc. See for a while there all I was doing was reading arcs because I kept signing up for them and I this month I'm going to be more intentional with which books I'm picking that I will review because I have 70 books in my bedroom waiting to be read and I also have tons of books on Kindle Unlimited and stuff that I can read so I don't need to be getting all of these arcs if I'm not going to enjoy them. But So this one was played by the rock star by Christina Hovland. This was another arc. I gave this one four stars. It was really sweet. The chemistry was written really really well. Like I was really behind them as a couple. I also really enjoyed how this was like a famous person and not famous person and I really enjoyed that the big issue that they had didn't have to do with the media because I feel like in a lot of these the issue that they have is because of the media which is an easy it's an easy issue for them to have because it's something real that they'll be dealing with if they're going to continue on in this relationship but this had a different issue but I, I loved our main characters I thought they were really well, well written and I really can't wait to read the next book in their like series okay next we have Falling for Home by Jodie Holford this was another arc I really liked this book I thought I thought it was beautiful I thought it was intricate there the story unwound in so such a fascinating way but I gave this book three stars and here's why this book was impossible to read. It was so, so difficult. And this is not Jodie Holford's fault. This is her editor's fault. Whoever edited this book did not do a good job because it kept switching perspectives, like complete point of view. Like I am in a room with Charlie and Penny is in a room with Jared and Charlie and I would be having a conversation, they'd be talking about dialogue, and all of a sudden they'd switch to the room with Penny and Jared. The dialogue would start there, but they'd never tell us that it switched. So I'd be reading this dialogue and I'd be like, what a weird thing that they're talking about. And they're not talking about it. It's a completely different character, but they never told me that a different character was talking about it. So it took me forever to read because I couldn't figure out <laughs> who was talking. So I really didn't, I really liked the book. I really didn't like the way that they edited it. And it's an arc, so hopefully that gets fixed post-production, but it was just, it was so, so difficult to follow. Next we have Ties That Tether. Um, this was another book of the month club book. It came out a couple of months ago though. My mother gave it to me a while ago and I put it in my on read section and I just grabbed it. Um, I do review this book in the Black Authors Highlight. It was very, very good. It was four and a half stars, but I give a lot more information in the video that I have linked below. The next book is Toxic. That is another arc. I should have known by the title that I wasn't gonna like it. I don't know why I thought I would. Um, it was about a guy in the gang who literally murdered people and the girl's like, but he's a good guy and I love him. And I'm like, he literally kills people. He literally murders them. She's like, nobody's perfect. I'm like, girl, leave. They're putting you in danger. Leave. So I gave that one two and a half stars. I'm sure if you like that sort of stuff, like you might like the book. Like it was 
it was fine not for me the next book I read is Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Um, this this book this is coming out on a Wednesday. Next Wednesday, a full Way of Kings Brandon Sanderson vlog is coming out. I read the whole book. I vlogged throughout it. I did not know. I knew it was a part of a series. I did not know that each book wasn't a standalone. I thought that the books like Mistborn. I thought that they would be independent books. So I didn't dislike this book. I just was not satisfied at the end and with how long the book was I really wanted to be satisfied at the end. And it's my sister's boyfriend's favorite book series so I will definitely read the rest of them but it was just it was very long and there was no satisfaction in the ending. But I still gave it four stars. Do I like it more than Mistborn? Currently no. Um, will I continue reading and reassess at a later date? Absolutely yes. Okay, next we have The Kindest Lie by Nancy Johnson. So this was another book of the month club book. My mom actually read this one first and then gave it to me. I gave this three and a half stars. I, I found, a, I had a very hard time sympathizing with our character, with our main character. Like I know why I was supposed to, but I didn't. I didn't, I just, I didn't like her. And I have a hard time reading a book when I don't like the main character. It was well written. It was interesting. It wasn't it wasn't the type of book I normally read. Um, but I gave it three and a half stars. The next book I read is My Boyfriend Merlin by Priya Artis. This was another arc. I really liked this book. My my biggest my two biggest complaints about it. One, it was a series ended on a cliffhanger. Did not know that. Did not like that. Was very upset. Number two the fact that he is Merlin is a big plot point and they tell us in the title. I go on a huge long rant about it in one of my vlogs. I don't know which one. You might not have seen it yet, but I go on a rant about this, the title of, the, of this book and I stand by that. I stand by it. So it was good. Three and a half stars. I will read the next ones, but I'll probably wait until all of them are out to read them because I don't want to get stuck again. Okay, next we have False Start by Casey Hagen. This is another arc. This one I gave four stars. It was about roller derby. I really liked it. I really liked the characters. I really liked learning more about roller derby. The reason I didn't like it was because I thought the main man was a little self-indulgent and I was kind of over him. I didn't really like him, but it was good and it ended where it set up the next romance for us so i'm obviously gonna read the next one but it was good four stars next we have kindred by octavia e butler i mentioned this one in our um, black authors highlight this is actually my book of the month i'm doing a bracket for book of the year and kindred is my book of the month for february i really really loved it i thought it was beautiful and excellently written and it was five stars and everyone needs to read it i explain a little bit more about it in my black author's highlight though my next arc is called meant to be you and it's by lynn crandall i don't know how to review this book nicely it felt like she never had a conversation with another human before like the conversations were really jilted and this might this might not be her this might be that um someone edited them this way but all of the conversations felt like they were following a script like they didn't feel real nothing in the book felt real this book for a year these two people blamed themselves for the same suicide they had literally one conversation about the suicide and both of them were like you know what you're right i shouldn't blame myself it's not my fault and it's like you spent a year blaming yourself and you had one conversation with this person and now you're over it like you went to therapists and the therapists were like don't blame yourself your whole family's like don't blame yourself but with this one person you're like yeah you know you're right i i wasn't a fan the next book i read is when you close your eyes by roxanne d howard i gave this one three stars um, I thought it was cute. I also, it's another book that I thought ended too quickly. I thought the interesting part of the book would have happened after the people got together. Um, especially because the person that she was with in the beginning turned to, into like a really scary person and I wanted to make sure that she was okay. And they were just kind of like, everything's fine because we're together. And I'm like, no, but he's scary. He punched you. Like, 
spoiler, sorry. So I gave it three stars. It was good. Um, it was very X-rated. It was very X-rated. And the next book I read was My Cover Model by R.L. Kenderson. And this made me happy because R.L. Kenderson is the person who wrote Wicked Chemistry, which I really didn't like, but I really liked this book. I thought it was hilarious. I stayed up until 3 a.m. reading it. I could not put it down. I was cracking up. I was laughing. It was realistic. I cried at the end. Like, it was such a good book. It, it was one of the other contenders for Book of the Month, but Kindred won out just because of how beautifully it was written. And this was, oh my gosh, it was hilarious. It was so good. I will absolutely be buying a copy when it it becomes paperback and I will be lending it to everybody I know because it was so good. It was so good. Um, All Blood Runs Red is another book that I did not review because I feel weird reviewing biographies because they're about someone's life. How am I going to star rate that? So that was All Blood Runs Red, the story about Eugene Ballard, the first black fighter pilot. It was really good. It was really interesting. His life is just absolutely crazy. Like, it's hard it's so hard to believe that anybody ever actually lived like that but he did he was alive and he he lived let me tell you so that book was really really good i also talk about that um give a little bit more in-depth um info on the black author's highlight and the last book i read this month is rescue me by leah busboom this was another arc i gave this one four stars I really liked it. I thought it was really interesting. It just felt a little, a little contrived to me. Like it felt like there was a little too much going on. Like they, they could have found a different reason that they were yanked apart. And I feel like the reason that they found was just a little too convenient, but I liked it. I gave it four stars, but yeah, that book I read on February 28th. So I read 24 books this month. I am already, it is March 2nd, and I have read three books, <laughs> so I think we're going to stay pretty close to the 24 books a month nonsense, because what else do I have to do besides stay in my house and read books? <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this video. I'm sorry it was so haphazardly put together. Um, I'm going to edit it now and get it posted tomorrow. <laughs> So hopefully this goes up at noon tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.